Yo guys, check out what I've just got my hands on. This is the brand new Samsung Galaxy A52. Let's take a closer look. Welcome back to the channel, peace and blessings. I'm M. Kwan, I talk about technology, including smartphones, that you're probably thinking about buying or need help with. If that sounds like you, you know what to do. So this is the brand new Samsung Galaxy A52. I've had this for a couple of hours now. Before I talk to you about the device, let's show you what you'd get inside the box. So this is the box. It's a pretty standard box. If I pull off the lid, then inside you're gonna find the device itself. Now this is in the beautiful, awesome blue color. We'll take a closer look at that in a moment. That is a really nice, matte kind of color with subtle Samsung logo there. Uh, we also get inside here a fast charger. So that's included over here. And we also get a USB-C uh, to standard USB cable. And that's, I'm assuming, for the charger. There are no headphones in my pack. On the other side over here, we're gonna get uh, like a small booklet area that has the SIM ejector tool, some paperwork, no case in the model that I've got. All right, so this year we get basically three new A versions. The A52, which is this one. There's an A52 5G version and then the A72. Now, this basically is a follow-up from last year's A series, which has been incredibly popular. Even me here on my channel, I, you know, I'm covering more mid-range smartphones now because that's something that a lot of you guys are requesting for. But I think there's a lot more happening in this space. So the A52 is one of those mid-range new smartphones from Samsung. Let's take a closer look. So taking you for a quick look around the device, number one, it's quite light in the hand. You'll notice that back with the colorful, uh, in this case, awesome blue color, it comes in a few other variations. There's the slight camera bump there that houses the quad camera setup, more on the camera in a moment. But down at the bottom, check this out, a three and a half millimeter headphone jack, USB-C uh, port, you've got um, speakers there. And on the left-hand side, it's completely flush. On the right-hand side, you've got the power button and the volume rocker. And at the top over there, you've basically got the SIM tray. So that's what it looks like in terms of design. On the front, you'll also notice I've got this set up and you've got the Infinity O display. Now, this is an interesting display because it is a uh, full HD plus display. So we're talking 1080 by 2400. And one of the other things is that it's got a punch hole on the front. Another interesting point about the display is check this, it supports 90 Hertz refresh as well. So the display on this is pretty cool. It's a Super AMOLED display, so that means that punchiness of colors is certainly gonna be there. The Super AMOLED display also means that, you know, if you're gonna be out and about, the viewing uh, should be better. It's got about 800 nits of brightness. I mean, here, we need a lot of brightness because the sun is just so powerful when you're out and about, but it's pretty decent for, for most cases and most situations. The other thing about the display which I like is it's flat, so it means multimedia, I'm just a big fan of flat displays and I think you get a better experience with that. So you're gonna get that with the A52. Plus, under the display here, I've actually had it set up uh, for my fingerprint scanner. So it will unlock with uh, the fingerprint. Um, it's not super fast, but then it's not super slow either. But if you don't wanna go with that, you can always use unlock with the front-facing selfie camera. So as far as performance is concerned, this has a typical setup for a mid-range smartphone. So you can get this either with a 6 or 8 GB. This has 8 GB pedal with 256 gigabytes of storage, and it's powered by Snapdragon processor. And, you know, it's pretty standard for a mid-range smartphone. Multitasking is snappy, and I've also played uh, PUBG Mobile as well, and it's performed okay with that. In terms of day-to-day -day use for most people, I think this is a pretty decent mid-range smartphone kind of setup. So as far as the back camera is concerned, you've got four of them. It's a quad camera. It's made up of a 64 megapixel main camera, which supports OIS. And then that's paired up with a 12 megapixel for the ultra wide. And then you get a depth camera and macro, both of which are five megapixels. Let me show you what it's like with the camera. All right, so as far as photos are concerned, you get everything from ultra wide all the way through to a maximum 10x zoom. And that's the same case with video as well. 
So let's just have a quick look at some of the shots that I've taken so far. Um, so this gives you an idea of what ultra wide looks like. That's pretty decent in terms of details. There's some dynamic range there as well. And then on this side, 1X. 1X is really where it looks like you're getting better quality. There's less noise as well. When you start zooming in, I mean, this is at uh, 5X and you can start to see some distortion. And then at the maximum 10X, I mean, yes, it will take photos at 10X, but there's very, very little detail there. There's a lot of noise there. Okay, so here's a quick look at video recorded at 60 frames per second on the Samsung Galaxy A52. As I move around, it does a uh, pretty decent job. Let me know what you think, both of audio, but also of video quality as well with this very short clip. So as far as the front-facing selfie camera is concerned, you get a 32 megapixel selfie shooter. Um, it does a reasonable job. I mean, I've seen better from other smartphones at this mid-range uh, category and price point. There is a bit of overexposure on some of the selfie shots that I've taken while I've used it, but it's there. Yeah. One other thing that I want to mention is the battery. So on this, you get a 4,500 milliamp hour battery, which is pretty decent. Uh, and I think this is going to suit most people, but there's no wireless charging, which I would have liked to see because I do use wireless uh, charging pads. Um, there is that 25 watt charger, fast charger. So that means in about 30 minutes, you should be able to get about 50% of charge. The other thing with the UI, so this is running one UI, I think version 3.1, you will get power saving or adaptive power saving throughout the day. So depending on your use, what you are typically using your smartphone for, the A52 should be able to give you hopefully more battery. So that'll be interesting to see. That's a wrap with the Samsung Galaxy A52. Let me know what you think about this device. And I want you to go and check out this other Samsung device, which is pretty cool over here. I'll see you there.